Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. How's everybody doing? Hope you guys are doing pretty good. Yes, sir. You can see I got a bottle of white vinegar. White vinegar. What do you think I'm going to do with this white vinegar? Let's go take a look. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to use white vinegar in my reef tank. I've been um, dealing with nitrates for years, many years, can't get the levels down. I, I did a lot of upgrades trying to get the nitrates down, but nothing's working. Nothing's working. Well, this guy down here, he's all happy, nice and green. But every time I do a water change, my nitrates is always at 10. And then it starts climbing up when I start feeding the rascals. So I'm going to try a method. And people says when they tried it years ago, instead of, instead of carbon dosing, carbon dosing, try vinegar dose dosing. They said it can't hurt the reefs. And it should bring my nitrates down. So that's what I'm going to plan to do with this tank here. 90 gallon tank. I'm going to start dosing vinegar. Every day. For a one week. And see if there's any changes in my tank. Like if my corals are all happy. And right now you can see my corals. They look very happy. This guy right here, I moved, so he's not fully open yet. But we're going to see if I can get my nitrates down using vinegar. And what the game plan is, plan to use one milliliter of vinegar for one week straight, and then test the water every three days, the nitrates, and see where the nitrates are at. Let's take a really closer look at the reefs. I'm going to see if there's a negative effect in three days. Or would there be a positive effect with the corals that's in there? Would they blossom? Or would they close up? So there's a close up of my reef before I do the vinegar, vinegar dosing starting today. But first, we have to check the waters. The water, we gotta check the parameters in the water. See where my nitrates is at in the tank right now. We're gonna use the hand of checker to check out our nit nitrates. So we're going to need 10 milliliters of water. Here's five. And one more from the tank. Ten milliliters right up to the line. I gotta zero it out. C one. Got C2. And we'll use a bag of this. It says dangerous. So you better watch it, because it is dangerous. You don't want to get the stuff on your clothing and you don't want to breathe it. You don't you do not want to breathe the stuff in. You'll be ending up in the hospital. Well, I, like, I like doing, he's making a funnel. Here's the powder. And make the funnel and hopefully it gets in there without spilling. Oh, I got my hand. Out of my hand, go wash it. 
So I gotta camp it and I gotta shake this for two minutes. Wipe down the vial and press and hold to get the reading. This video is sponsored by 811 Chicago Utility Locating. Go check out their video on YouTube, folks. And, folks, we got less than a minute left. All right, folks, 15 minutes, 15 seconds, counting down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. What could it be? After a water change. Holy Toledo, folks, 15. This is after a water change. My nitrates is at 15. All right, folks, since my nitrates are so high after a water change, instead of doing one milliliter, I'm doing two milliliters of the vinegar. At the two mil mark. Let's go to the tank. All right, so we're gonna put this two milliliters into the sump, and we'll see what happens. Hopefully, I don't crash the tank. Two milliliters in there. And, and the last look before it gets diluted in to the main supply. Here's the corals. How do you look? Here's the fishes. So the game plan will be two milliliters the whole week to see if my nitrates come down. Right now it's super high. It's at 15 PPM after a water change. 